That's her. You can. Hello, everyone. How are you? Okay. Just bringing it up on screen. Just bear with me just a second so I can see what I'm doing. And see all your lovely comments. Good morning, Tina. How are you? All right. Well, welcome to the first day of the online show, the Great International Craft Show. Uh, for those of you just tuning in for the first time, my name is Natalie and that, that about sums it up. Um, <laughs> so as part of the fantastic event that's happening this weekend, we have got um, some fa fabulous specials on the website, which is nataliemay.com.au. Um, we can... Um, there's, we've got like a huge range of things on special for today as part of the event. So uh, you can get 15% off of Lindy's Gang products, Mente products and a washi tape. So what I'm going to be doing today is using some Lindy's Gang sprays and some Mente products to create a scrapbook layout. Um, and good morning Robin and Yvonne. Uh, and we are going to, yeah, whip up a quick little project for you using these things. So just quickly, a little bit of housekeeping before we start. We've got some other amazing things on special that I think you need to know about. So we have got the Art by Marlene watercolours, $33.60 each for those. Um, they're a show special. All of our Art by Marlene products are 15% off because we're making way for all of the new things that are coming in at some stage in the next month. The Art by Marlene rhinestones, five bucks off at $14 each, and these are so nice. Um, we've also got some Minte chipboard um, albums. These are awesome. So these are down to about 10 bucks each, actually. So they're really, really good. Some sustainable wood shape embellishments and some of the six by eight basic books from Minte. So we've got a great range of products there. And don't forget about our no judgment postage. So for those of you who don't know what no judgment postage is all about, what it is, uh, is that we have got, you need to pay $12.50 for your first order. And then all orders after that, what we do is we put them all together. And when you get to the checkout, you just need to select no judgment. And then it's a dollar for you to bundle them all together. So what that dollar basically covers is us picking and packing your order and then we get it all ready for you and post out on Monday or Tuesday next week. All right? Postage is not free and it is limited to three kilos for you overachievers out there. All right, let's get down to it. What I want to do today is I would like to use this Minte chipboard background piece here. So the project that I'm creating is going to be available for you to purchase as a kit after I have created something here. So rather than you buying all the pieces individually, I thought, you know what, let's just bundle them all together for you and then you can go back and watch this video and create the project ready to go. The chipboard, Minto chipboard, so these are a 12 by 12. They fit perfectly. Uh, on the front of a piece of white cardstock. I just need to cut the barcode off this piece, of course. Uh, so they are a really, really awesome background piece. So you can cut this in half, you can cut out elements, or you can use it as a whole piece, which is exactly what I'm going to do today. So let's start off here with some Lindy sprays in the background. So I'm just going to put down my puppy training pad here as you do, because I want to spray this and add some gesso to it. I want to add some colour and I want to colour this using Lindy's. Now before I do that, I thought, right, I'll use a little bit of gesso to add a little resist to the project. 
Let's get the lid off that baby. And I'm just going to pop a little on here. So I'm using Liquitex White Gesso. This one is the good stuff. This is the bee's knees. Uh, I'm, I tend to like using the good, the good quality stuff. I'm going to use the back of my palette knife just to add a little bit of a swipe in a few spots around my background. I'll bring this up to camera in a moment just to show you so you can get a, a good idea on what we are doing and what it looks like. But I'm not wanting to coat the entire thing. I'm just wanting to add a little bit of white resist to the background. Because when I add the Lindy sprays in a moment, this is going to look awesome. So for those of you who have just jumped online to try and get one of these backgrounds, hold your horses a few minutes because we will do a... Uh, at the end of the class, we will turn this into a, a, a great value for money kit for you, okay? All right, so there we go. So I've just added a little bit of white gesso and it's a super small amount. So I'm just gonna bring it up to camera just so that you can see that there's just a few, you know, a light swipe in a few areas and then I'm gonna dry that off. Where did I put my head down? So I'm just quickly going to hit that with the heat gun just to dry it. And because I didn't put it on super thick, it's not going to take very long to dry at all. So this Minte chipboard is actually like a white board. It's not totally porous chipboard. It's got a little bit of a white coating on it that, um, that looks fantastic raw as well on a project. You could easily just leave it like that. You can paint it. You can add Lindy's to it, which is what I'm going to do today. You can ink it with Distress Oxides or Distress Ink. You can stamp on it. You can do so many things to it with no effort at all. All right. Good enough for me. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Lindy sprays. So of course, for those of you who haven't seen Lindy's products before, so Lindy's are a pigment dye based spray. So I'm going to be using some moon shadow sprays. And of course, moon shadow sprays are the sepia walnut colored liquid with a colored shimmer. So this one here is called Tur Tawny Turquoise. And you can see that it's going to have this beautiful turquoise shimmer that sits on top. I'm also going to use a little bit of golden doubloons, which has got that gorgeous gold. So it's going to be a brown spray. And I just made this one up. This is Treasure Island Aqua. And I've just shaken that one. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute. So what happens when you purchase these? They come as a loose powder with no liquid in the bottle. What you then need to do is add warm water to the fill line, which is right there. Let sit for 10 minutes, shake before each use, and voila, it's that easy. So I've just made this one, it's still warm, so I'm just gonna let that sit there. And then I will add, uh, I'll use that one in a moment. So the Lindy sprays are awesome, so that, like I said, that these are 15% off as well, which is great for you. Um, so to give you a bit of an idea on what my plan is here with this project is I've got some white cardstock that I can mount it on. So this will still fit perfectly into a scrapbook album sleeve because I'm not adding too much body to it. And this is exactly 12 by 12. So this will get popped onto here as a background. I also have opened some of the Vicky Booten Fernwood die cuts. So this is um, one of our favourite packs of die cuts, actually. Oops. And what we have got here is I have separated them out into piles. So I've got a pile of butterflies and dragonflies and moths. I've got a pile of birds. I've got a pile of leaves, a pile of houses. 
there's some words, mushrooms, one random gnome, some flowers, some bits and pieces, so that I, when I pull my page together and I create it, I have got, um, these are a, a quick access for me to use, all right? So that's my embellishments for this project. All right, let's get some color onto here. Before I start, the first thing I like to do is make sure that my sprays are good. I know what colors I have here in front of me and that I'm happy with the colors. So here's all the good stuff sitting at the bottom of the spray. So I need to shake that backwards and forwards just so that you can, you know, so we can activate it within the liquid. it off give it a spray so as you can see it's a brown colored spray but I don't know if you can see there's that little shimmer of turquoise sitting on top so that one works great I'm happy with that color the golden doubloons is a much lighter sepia and it's got that gorgeous gold shimmer to it um, I'm also going to be adding I've grabbed this teal colour, um, so we've got quite a few different colours online uh, as singles, lots of greens, lots of teals, yeah that one works, and I've got Lucky Shamrock Green here. Okay, so these are the colours that I want to put together, uh, and the one that I just made up, let me see how this one's looking. Oh, oh. I think I'm using it too. There we go. So that is that gorgeous colour on top there. So I'm just quickly going to unplug my nozzle because, because it is so hot. And I've used it too quickly. It's died in the... Oh, I love live Facebook. And I was cheeky and put an old nozzle on it. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get some colour onto here. Let's do it and let's stop talking about it. So I'm going to start with tawny turquoise and I'm just going to start spraying my colour. And I did it on that background. Oh, look, I've made a stencil. Right. So I'm completely covering my background and it's gone totally totally brown with a bit of a shimmer to it i'm going to bring it up to camera so you can see and you see that shimmer sitting on top of the chipboard looks great now i'm going to get some gold and just highlight with some gold now you can use any sort of sprays for this of course as you know how much i love lindy's um, it's a quality product that has been around for uh, 25 years. Um, small family business in Washington. I have got so much time for this company. They work really, really hard and listen to you guys, the customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just adding a little bit of this green over the top now. And what that's going to do is it's going to enhance the Treasure Island Aqua and the Tawny Turquoise that I put over the top, okay? Because these have got that lovely shimmer and I wanna enhance that. So I am adding this green over the top. So um, yeah, so if you have some other brands of sprays or dilutions or something along, Dina Wakeley did some, like has got some gloss sprays, you could use those. There's plenty of other options available. Okay, this is my go-to. Right, let's do that, let's do that. And then I'm going to, I'm pretty happy with that. Can you see that shimmer? So it's got a lovely brown base to it. And you can see that white gesso that I swiped over the top has offered a resist, okay? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right. 
I'm now going to fold that over, pop it aside, and uh, based on the fact that we have got like almost 100% humidity in here at the moment, that shouldn't take too long to dry, so I'm just going to put it over here. Uh, the I have, a photo, I have a pretend photo mat here. What I want to do is, because I don't want to add any patterned paper, I want to add a... I want to add, I've got a bit of an idea on what I want to do, but I want to add, I want to build a base underneath it. So I've got some book paper, the cardboard is what I'm going to use to give it some height. Scissors. So instead of using a piece of foam tape, I'm just going to use that and I have got some double sided tape You know who it is? My girlfriend Karen. Oh. So, um, all right, so that is going to be my base. That's my pretend photo. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to pop it in the middle here and I'm just gonna use a pair of scissors to cut around here. And, and I'm gonna do like a real loose photo base and I'm gonna be adding some white cardstock as well and just to lift up and, and lift it all up and make it look really awesome. Now, I accidentally sprayed this one before. That was convenient because what I want to do is add some colored pieces of card. So I'm gonna be super raw here and go there there. Where's my puppy training pad? Come back here and I'm going to just colour those so that I have something in underneath with a little bit of a pop of colour. So I'm making my own pattern paper. So there's two pieces done since I've got my sprays out. Do some more. Now, I'm not worried here about my, I'm not worried here about my papers being, um, <laughs> when your best friend drops in and brings coffee and flowers. I love that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, there we go. That's there. That's there. Um, and I'm going to colour that. So, there I've got these four sprays. There you go, I coloured them and they're my pretend pattern papers to, um, yeah, 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 you can come in. Um, yeah, so there's my pretend pattern papers to match my photos. So I'm now going to quickly dry those off. Oh, I'm just missing all your comments. Here you go. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Susan, Tina, Shezza, how are you? I'm just going to dry these off. So as you can see, I've got these coordinating pieces of cardstock ready to go. All right, so that's my pattern paper. Um, perfect. Dry, dry, dry. Okay, so I'm gonna pop those aside, fold up my cards, fold up my puppy training pad. Now this is pretty much dry. So I'm going to take a plain piece of 12 by 12 and I'm going to put it onto there. I'm going to use some puzzle glue as my adhesive just to dot around. Now I could easily foam mount this up onto the foam mount this up onto the 12 by 12 or I can have it flat. So if I wanted to pop it into a frame it would look great. Let's just pretend I put more on there. And 
and that is going to go there, 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 there. Right. Looks good. Not stuck down. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. How are you? Thank you. Good. All right. So there is the base of my layout. Normally I would have cut off that barcode strip, of course, but for argument's sake, we're not doing that today. Where's my photo? Okay. Here's my photo mat. That's going to sit in the middle like this, maybe off to the side, but I want to add some of these decorative strips around it first. So I'm going to roughly cut them because they're just going to slide in underneath. I'm not worried about them being perfectly awesome pieces uh, and I'm going to use, where's my little tape runner thingy, here we go. How am I going for time? Oh, 20 minutes, look at that, nailing it. All right, so I'm just gonna pop some of these little sticky things behind here and offset these pieces. So like that. Do that and pop a little bit down the bottom here. And I'm not phased about them being different colours, it's all going to work in quite nicely because it's the same colours that I have used in my background. Okay, so that's why it doesn't matter how it, it works. So I might actually keep that green and brown one in there next. Sorry, I just realised I was probably working off camera. Now I can cut that extra bit off, cut that off, and it's got that real loose organic look to it so and that's what I'm after I don't want perfection here I want creative and loose we want loose all right and I'm going to pop a little bit of this blue on now helps you get tape runners going the right way a bit of blue and I don't know if you can see that shimmer it's pretty damn good and then I'm going to go and put it, put a little up here because I can and there we go. Right, so I have matted my photo with strips of white cardstock. Keeping it simple. It's going to sit there and it's going to sit on another piece of cardboard because I want to give it some height up off my page. Okay, where did I put my double-sided tape? Oh, Karen, you bought coffee. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See? Love that. Oh, and it's good coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she remembered the sugar. <laughs> Isn't it the little things in life? Oh, while I'm taping here, good morning, Susan. Good morning, Janine. Good morning, Gaylene. How are we all? All right, so peeling the tape off of here. Um, the other reason I'm using cardboard instead of foam tape is because it gives me a more solid base to work with. All right. Righty oh, there we go. So you can see how it sits behind. I've got those strips. Nothing fancy. It's all very organic and very raw. And I'm going to stick it here. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to stick it down. Don't overthink it because it's just paper. Right. I am going to think about this mess because this is giving me the shit. Sorry, the willies. I need a swear jar going in here, Louise. No, no. I only said the S word. All right. So let's have a look here with these embellishments. So from here, I can build my embellishments and build my page. Um, I want to go with, I want to bring out these key pieces first. And I love these flowers. So they're super cute. And that, oh, look at that. Perfect mix. It's like I planned it. Might be the only project that I've planned this week. Um, 
I've got these lovely thistles. Are they thistles? Oi, Lou, yep. is that a thistle? Yes. Thank you. I'm not real good at my flower identification. So that's going to go there. And I don't want too much greenery. I want some pops of colour. I think these could be bluebells, but I'm just making that up. So that could go in under there. And I'm framing. So this is super cute. Might add a pop of colour. Might add too much colour. All right. But this is better. So that's a small pop of colour that will go in under there. And I do love this orange flower. Okay, so my cluster is going to sit down here. And now you can see what's happening. Daisy's not quite right. Some berries aren't quite right. That's not quite right. That's not quite right. So what I'm thinking now is I would add some more colour. And... I'm just going to commit to this, so I'm just going to stick this down. The more I think about it, the more I'll shuffle it around, and that's boring. So, all right, so I've picked up a glue that doesn't want to work today. So I'm going to go with this one next, and I've picked up another glue that's not going to work today. You know, because it's live Facebook. Tina, I love your realness. Thanks, Tina. Yeah, well, you do get that that all or nothing with me so sometimes that's a good thing sometimes it's not so good but you know let's commit to it right so you can see that i only put down a little bit of um glue under this section here and that is because i want i want to have a lift under here and that lift is going to be giving me what i need this bit here is I'm going to grab some foam tape. Oh, I'm on the dregs of my foam tape. Hang on. I'm going to stick that. I'm going to fold it over for extra height. And then stick this down like so. I'm going to pop it there. Now I can go back and add more. Whoops, that's a little low. I can go back and add more tape to this but for the time being how did I have that it's kind of a bit more like that wasn't it okay let's just do it see overthinking damn stuck same on this side here I'm going to go straight in and tuck tuck that in there like so Tina 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 just reading your comments trying to multitask all over the place here I'm going to slide this one in underneath for that pop of colour under there. Right. This one here, again, just for that extra little bit of height with my embellishments, I'm going to stick that onto here. So putting my phone tape down, then sticking this guy here. So a lot of the a lot of the layering underneath, it kind of disappears, but it is still there. I do love this little bird here. So this little bird is very cute. And I think that little birdie needs to be a bit of a feature. Maybe this birdie's better. Oh, that bird's much better. So that bird can go right there. And then I'm going to stick one of these titles down. Um, staying in the now. So these are all included in the Fernwood Embellishment Pack. Um, here and there. Now, my beautiful world. That can go there. Staying in the now, my beautiful world. So let's not overcomplicate all of these little elements on the page. They don't have to be all about, um, you know, the what I like to call the over, over embellishing. It's about the photograph. So if I had got my um, butt into gear and got a photo ready, which let's be honest, that was never going to happen, um, then ideally... This is what it is all about. It's all about that photograph. Um, Louise, can you go to my third drawer for me and grab my alter new double like phone tape? Thank you. Excellent. Oh, pretty. I know, it's very pretty. And the shimmer is absolutely divine. It's coming up. And it looks good on it, camera. It looks good on camera? Mm. Good, it does. It's shining lovely on camera. Yeah. All right, so I'm just giving that an extra little bit of oomph. And I'm going to pop that down onto there. 
So that little birdie is gonna be featured right there. Pop that on there. Pop that on, oh, hang on. Right, so getting there, gonna add some butterflies because you've gotta have butterflies or moths or whatever they're called. What have we got here? I want something with a little bit of orange in it. Oh, and there's one I dropped on the floor here. Hang on. Sticking, sticking, sticking. And I'm going to give him a little body. So a simple pack of embellishments is going to go a really long way. There's so much in this pack. And I could keep building on this, but, you know, it doesn't need to, to be over the top. And as you can see, we've got all of these here left. So you can make me a thank you card and pop it in the post with all of these little bits that are left over. How's that work for you? No, really. Okay. Come on, stick. So there you go. Uh, 30, 31 minutes and I have created a light scrapbook layer using Lindy's products in my background on a raw chipboard piece of Minte and a pack, a simple pack of the beautiful Fernwood Ephemera in here. So the other thing that I would do to finish this off is use some Dimensional Magic. So you could use Dimensional Magic, you could use, what's the one we got in the other day? The glaze, the little, little, cute little bottle, Lou, that's um, with the ink pads. You know the one? You know the one. Yay, that one. So you could use um, Dimensional Magic, Glossy Accents. Um, this Crystal Accents is the perfect item as well. Adds dimension. This is one I've been using for 70 million years. And all I would do now to give it a boost is take a little and stick it on there. Okay, so just... What it's doing is it's making these all, I don't know if it's showing up on camera because I'm, are you watching me, Louise? Yeah. Is that like showing up on camera? Yeah. Mum, you doing that? Okay. So you can, oh, there we go. So you can see that it has popped a bit of a shine on top of that item. So I'm going to just do the same thing here, draw it on. So this is one of those super valuable tools that you've got to have in your stash. It makes the product, it makes your project look finished, okay? So, you know, you can add it to the wings of your birdie or your bird. Um, onto here, onto here. I pick up the high points. I could have chosen to do all the leaves. I could have chosen to do all of the flowers, whatever you like. So I'm going to do my thistles, thistles, my butterfly. Oh, there's an area there I can put some journaling and some words. I'm going to put some dots in this section. And now the layout has gone from being, yeah, my embellishments, sorry, have gone from being flat to lifted and and have dimension now. They've got a shimmer to them and a shine that makes them look really, really interesting. And it makes it look like you've done more to it than you actually have. Because let's be honest, that's what we want. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I think that looks fantastic. So the background was, was super easy, effortless, using the Lindy's Moon Shadow Sprays. So I used a combination of Treasure Island Aqua and tawny turquoise. Look at all that goodness sitting in the bottom there. But I also added in some golden doubloons for a bit of shine, a bit of gold, and then this lovely green. So you could easily use any spray that you have, but the Lindy sprays look fabulous because they have added that gorgeous shimmer and that gorgeous shine over the entire project, okay? So there you go. That's it from me for my first live Facebook of today. Where's my notes gone? 
What have you done with them, Luke? Did you clean up? No. Oh, they're behind the... Oh, fabulous. All right. So, today, like I said, we have got on nataliemay.com.au, you will find 15% off all Minte products, which is what we've used in the background here. You will find 15% off of Lindy's products. So all Lindy's sprays are 15% off. You will find... I've got too much stuff here now. And 15% off of washi tape, okay? These prices are automatically calculated at the checkout. So um, you can easily just, just pop them in your cart. You know you want to. Uh, we also have lots of other specials available, so make sure that you have a look in the show specials segment on the website because they will um, they'll all be there. The Minte chipboard books are baseboard books, which is similar to what we've used here, but they're like mini albums, 20% off. Um, and the no judgment postage, $12.50 postage for your first order, and then the rest uh, if you want to order over the weekend, or only a dollar after that. So no judgment on that one at all. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, just type in Happy Dax, and then this this project that I have just created, what I'm going to do is we're going to bundle up some kits for you. In the next 10 minutes or so, I will pop them on, pop it online as a kit. You can purchase that, add that to your cart and you just watch the instructions and you can always go back and watch it on YouTube. All right, guys, stay safe, wash your hands, kiss your kids, look forward to seeing you all soon. Um, I will be back at 1.30 today with an art journal page. I'm gonna make a gratitude journal because I think we all need to find something in our day to be grateful for. So I look forward to seeing you back here at 1.30 Adelaide time. Thanks guys.